What's going on guys? Welcome back to part one of driving this class 319. What? 319? 395 from London St Pancras International to Dover Priory. And now in this in this one we'll be driving from London St Pancras International to Rochester in this first part and then in the second part we'll be driving from Rochester to Faversham and then the last one from Faversham to Dover Priory. So let's get this train set up. Forward, doors open. And there's a pentagon yep, everything's set up so this should be it. And we're just driving the normal three one nine this time. So yeah. So we're going to be yeah driving this from all the way to Rochester now. So that's pretty cool in this first part. Good morning, driver. Today you're going to be driving this three nine five on its full one um, from St Pancras to Dover. Good luck. So let's start and drive this. Yep, we're all ready to go. Got the Sam T sound pack like last video. Last video we ended off the video over there, parking up from there, from Tombridge. So yeah, and now we're driving in this first part from St Pancras International to Rochester. So yeah, that's pretty exciting indeed. How long does it take to get to um? Oh my god, almost two hours. Yeah, you wouldn't want to watch a video for two hours, I'll tell you that. But yeah. And then how long does it take from Rochester to Favelsham? So, 10.38. So, I'll say about half an hour. Yeah. And then how long does it take? 11.07 to 11.47 And that's about... 45 minutes? 40 minutes? Yeah, something like that So that's pretty cool Part 1, we're driving from here, St Pancras to Rochester That's quite cool Sorry I started an hour late with this live stream We were on a walk and now, but I'm here live streaming now, which is quite cool. And we should be going the right way this time. <laughs> Instead of the last um, video, we were going the wrong way into St Pancras. But we're coming out the right way this time, I'll tell you that. So, yeah. Fingers crossed I won't have any power issues with the 395. Right. Right, three, two, one. There we go. Please don't give me a yeah, it did. It always does that if you're going too fast. But I like this bit. Look how fast we get up to speed. My god. I'm hoping we'll be able to get up to 140 miles per hour in about 4.7 miles. Could be a challenge. Which I don't think is possible. Because I bet you in about... Not in two minutes... We're going to have to slow down for Stratford International. Because we are going to be calling at... Stratford International, Ebbsfleet International... Gravesend, Strood, Rochester... Where we're going to end this first part. And in the second part, we're going to be calling at Chatham, Gillingham... Raynham, Sittingbourne, Terringham, 
and Favelsham. That's where we're going to end the second part. And then in the final part, we will be calling at Selling, Canterbury East, Bellsbourne, Ayrsham, Ailsham, Showdown, Shepherd's Well, Kernsey, and Dover Priory. So, yeah. 200. <clears throat> And then it's 117. And then I think it's 160. <clears throat> 116. We're already at 160. Keep it in this speed for now. Slowly slow down. Yeah, doesn't say anything up there. Got the old stuff here. So yeah. Here we are at Stratford International coming into platform four and here we are speeding a little bit it'll be fine where's the end of the platform right down there but we're gonna stop it here just slowly come to a halt Stratford oh I may, may need to slow down a little bit more there we go gonna be stopping at the S car marker where we should be stopping and this is it why is platform 4 so low? What the heck? Or is it... No, the platforms were always really low. That's weird. Look how long these platforms are. Are these platforms long enough for like the Euro Stars and that? Because I know the Euro Stars have like 20 coaches. Anyway, let's stop talking about the Euro Star and let's watch this. 395 leave Our next station is Ebbs Fleet International And off we go. And now, 114. See how long this takes to get up to that speed. Supposed to get to Ebbs Fleet International in about 10 minutes time. Sounds pretty good to me. 
Did I set up any AI in this scenario? I hope I did. Yeah, I did. Wait, where's the... First... Wait, where's service two? Oh! We're about to be passing it! And we got a cross already, which is... Not a great sign. You, if we go outside, we should hear the other train pass. Have we gone past it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even hear it! Oh, for God's sake. Too much listening for the other train, or... Well, I wasn't listening for the emergency brake. Well, let's ease off the power for a bit. Because we're coming close to our 140 speed limit. Ease off it a little bit more. Well, actually, I'll keep on going because, yeah, that's where we come outside. I'm just going to speed it up and then... We should lose some speed now, which I'm hoping. Right, just just coast now, because we should be going uphill. Not too long. We're going to be losing some speed now. Here we go. There we go. We're losing some speed now. There's the M25. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's a bridge. Uh, we should see the M25 soon. Where is it? Uh, is that an M25? I don't know, I don't think so. We definitely do go past the M25. Some miles until Epps Fleet. Now the normal route the three nine fives will take is um it would normally go down here to go to uh, Dover, but we in Train Simulator uh, they haven't added it to go to like Dover Priory that way, so we're gonna have to go through um. Go through the Chatham Main Line and that, and then go through the Priory that way, and then go to the Priory that way. I mean, the reason why I'm coasting at the minute is because we're gonna go down here in a bit of time, and then hopefully I should get some more speed there. I just coast for a minute. It's saying we'll be on time. If it didn't say we were going to be on time, I would keep my speed off 140. But because it says we'll be on time, I'll be alright.
yeah, that's where I'm gonna speed up. And we should get our speed back then. Which would be pretty cool. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And off we go. What? Already? Oh my god. That's the M25. There's the M25. There's the M25. And that's the M25. If you didn't know, this fruit includes the M25. gonna try I'll be alright yeah I'm gonna be alright right now oh for god's sake seriously seriously oh for god's sake no it's forced on the emergency brakes I was trying to get up to 100 more 140 miles per hour. Yeah. No. Slow down then. Yeah. Why? Why? It's alright. Let's just coast it now. And this is the passenger's view all the time. <clears throat> we are now approaching F's Fleet International. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. Right, there we go. Let's just coast it now because we're going to have to slow down. For F's Fleet International, platform 6. Be cool if they actually we could go that way to like be cool if they added Ashford International into this um route. That would be cool. I'm surprised they haven't to be honest. Because it's quite um quite a main station. And here we are, at Ebbs Fleet International, where we're going to have to change powers and hopefully not have any issues with that, but we are probably going to have issues with that, like we, like we always do. Oh my god, we were, we got here bang on time, oh my god. But, let's change it to DC, pan down, shoot up. But we are definitely going to have issues with that, like we always do. Right. right, we should hopefully, fingers crossed, have power. Right, let's see. Yeah, first time, baby. Yeah, we have power. I don't know why you need to do that pantograph thing with the heart, but it's whatever. First time, and I didn't have any issues with it. That's a new achievement for me, I tell you now. Anyway, our next station is Gravesend.
We are not going to sitting born. Well, we are going to sitting born, but we are not terminating there as much as Nat 395 wants to terminate there. <clears throat> the next station is Gravesend. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. I think I'm a, a good announcer. I should be an announcer on the train. I, I remind myself of like the person announcing like the Thameslink 700 announcements. That's what I remind myself of. <clears throat> Ding dong! We are now approaching Gravesend! Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge when getting off. That's a new bit I added myself. Yeah, we are. I'm really on time. Wow. I don't know why I got across now. Maybe I was a bit late. I don't know. But anyway, here we are at Gravesend. Just slowly glide into Gravesend. Yeah, brakes on, full brakes on, full brakes on, full brakes on. Nice, lovely. Perfect stopping. All doors open. Yep, front doors open, back doors. Lovely, back doors too. Perfect. I'm going to do no getting on announcement now. <clears throat> Ding dong. Welcome aboard this southeastern service to Dover Priory. Calling at Strood, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Raynham, Sittingbourne, Terringham, Bavelsham, uh, Selling, Canterbury East, Bellsbourne, Aylesham, Aylesham, Showdown, Shepherd's Well, Carnsney, and Dover Priory. Our next station is Strood. Great. Speeding a bit, speeding a bit, speeding a bit. I thought. Uh, Let's spend this first. Well, no. I was going to spend the first bit in the passenger view, but I thought not to now. Go far higher. Should I be going round here so fast? But maybe four six five, four six five out of four six six. Oh wow, that's cool.
I swear, this this bit is just straight. So this should be like a ninety. I swear, this is just a dead straight bit of line. It should be ninety, or even a hundred, not seventy. I understand going round that corner for Hyam, it should be 17 there, but like, this straight track should be 90. Well, definitely. Another whistle board. Extra long horn there. And here's Hu Junction. And then there's Hu Junction platform two. I think I'm going to go and watch this train pass higher. Let's see. I have to keep my finger on the Q button so the AWS doesn't go off. Or I can just do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Well, actually, I'm going to. Yes. Pace it to 70 miles per hour and then I'm gonna. Can't put it into nature right now. Ah, there we go. Now I can. Horn for the tunnel. And 3, 2, 1. Horn for me. The train spotter. Oh my god, good I caught that. And there we go, into the tunnel. It's warning us for now, 15 out street. In a minute, we're gonna have to slow down for like 15, which I'm gonna start slowing f down for now. There it is over there. Slowly glide into street. I wouldn't be able to deal with this tunnel going through this whole tunnel at a speed of 15. My god, I just wouldn't. I'd speed. Good. 
Right. Slowly slow down for that 15. There we go. Lovely. And here we are on the Chatham main line. Well, this isn't the official start of it. The official start of it is over there when it turns over for Rochester, which is when this first part is going to sadly finish. Just power up for a little bit. My Slowly stop at Street. Here we go. Oh. And here we are. At Strood. Cold train fitting? Yep, lovely. You're joking. Oh my god. I'm here three minutes early. That's mad. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do for three minutes to entertain myself? So train over there? No. I've got nothing to do. <laughs> no. I guess I'm just gonna have to stay in the cab for two minutes. Or more. Where is our next train? Um, there it is. It's that Gillingham. Just waiting for us. Then there, at Raynham. Then there. God, you have a lot of trains to watch in uh, part two where we're going to be going past. And then, Falsham. And then one there, and then one there, and then one there at the primary. That's pretty cool. Sorry, now it's my sister. Right, we should be able to depart within a minute's time. Yes, I'm still in the cab. That three minutes went quite fast. Right. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Nice. 
and off we go. Rochester is the next station. <clears throat> this train is the southeastern service to Dover Priory. The next station is Rochester. There we go. Just did the announcement. Now we're going up this one in fifty. I need to get a screenshot so I can use it for the thumbnail. For God's sake, what can I do? I'm going to have to wait. Don't speed, no. We don't want to speed. That's... I don't wait. Right, now what are we going to do? Uh, hmm. What are we going to do? Here? I don't know. Oh, I got a good view over here. Thought we were slowing down now, I'll tell you now. Right, no. There we go. That's. That, that's probably going to be the thumbnail for this first part of this. Vi the thumbnail for this video, that's what I mean. Now we're going over in a really loud um, bridge. In real life it is, but obviously it's not in this game. Oh, jeez. I thought we were at 30. Coming into Rochester on time. Love it. Alright, let's speed up. One up 30. Quickly. Right, here we go. We are now approaching Rochester. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. Slowly glide into watch start. No, not yet. Now we can. Here we go. The turn and drive car. Stopping point. And I'm, I'm sorry to say, guys, but this is the, f the end of part one of this scenario, of this video. So in part two, we're going to be driving from here, Rochester, to Favelsham. So I'm sorry to say guys, but this is the end of part 1. I hope you guys enjoyed part 1. Part 2 will be coming out tomorrow at 1pm. We're going to be driving from here to Faversham, like I said a minute ago. But yeah, this is the end of today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video.